Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is a little tutorial on how to make the energy transfer one pager. So we're making these mini posters. And part of this challenge for your left side today is to creatively and succinctly organize the movement of energy through the atmosphere. And that is your challenge. You're limited to a single piece of paper, only one side. So your challenge is to fit all of this information, all of this information. So that's eight bullets, and some of them require you to do more than one thing to all fit in this amount of space. Now, I prefer if you use a nice blank piece of paper, like uh, this piece of uh, printer paper. If you only have uh, a single piece of lined paper, that's acceptable. The other thing you're definitely going to need is some colored pencils. I've got the deluxe kit. I know some of you just have the standard uh, 10 or so different colors. But you're definitely going to need as many of them as you can get your hands on. Um, and we're just going to go through these instructions one at a time. Um, I probably won't do all of them here because that would take me half an hour or longer, which is kind of what you're expected to do. But I will make sure I describe all of them and show you how I'd go about them. So, remember, mini poster, get it to fit. That means eye-catching. That also means informational. It's a combination of the two. So, first off, we need to title the page appropriately and creatively. So hopefully you have your instruction sheet open while you are doing this, uh, whether it be open on a computer or printed out next to you, whatever that happens to be. Now, it's a title of this page. So I could do a, I could set up the page uh, portrait style. I could set it up landscape style. But it's a title, and since it's a poster, the title doesn't have to be at the top. It can be literally anywhere. I could center the title so that everything kind of happens around it. I can put the center in a cor or uh, the title in a corner and have everything flow away from it. It's entirely up to you. I think I'm going to do this one. I'm just going to put the title in the center. If I think about today's lesson, it was all about how energy moves through the atmosphere. And we're talking about conduction and convection and radiation. Hey, so, okay, what does that have to do? It has to do with heat. It has to do with the atmosphere. So what kind of creative title can I come up with? Now, I will tell you, those of you who are watching my video, no cheating. You may not copy my ideas. So if you watch this video, you're going to have to come up with a different creative title than I come up with. Let's see, what am I going to come up with? I'm going to say... How the atmosphere gets heated. Now, of course, I'm going to try to neaten this up, maybe make it uh, kind of creative looking. Hey, make it look pretty and stylish. Hey. Make it all beautiful. Now, I don't want to keep you here the whole time that I'm doing all of this stuff, so I'm going to stop in the middle of when I'm uh, making improvements. So I may not always finish mine. You obviously will. And then please feel free to uh, pause the video while you do the work and I continue on the instruction. So if I just stop here, I'm going to stop here. Notice how I'm kind of making it beautiful and, and nice. You'd obviously finish yours. I'm just uh, stopping right here. Next, create a symbolic border. So I want to put a border around the entire page that somehow symbolizes heat. Now, I could use a variety of symbols. I could do each side a different uh, symbol itself. I could do all sorts of different ways about doing this. I could do the same symbol repeated all the way around the whole thing. Um, it's entirely up to me. I could do a bunch of little symbols. I could do four big symbols, but I'm creating a creative border. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Here's what I'm thinking about. I'm, I'm uh, feeling kind of creative today. I'm going to do four different uh, 
or maybe three different symbols. So I'm going to put my, remember the primary source of energy in our atmosphere comes from the sun. So I'm going to make my little sun up here in the corner. So I'm only going to do like a quarter of the sun, maybe less based on uh, what I'm seeing here. So that's what my border. And again, no cheating, no copying mine. This is what I came up with. You got to come up with your own. That's what you get for watching the video rather than just reading them. <clears throat> and so I'm going to make little uh, sunbeams uh, coming off my little sun right here. Maybe if I'm feeling a little happy, I might make a smiling sun. And then I'm going to make these uh, this sunbeam stretch all the way down probably should have used a ruler since I'm making it so long all the way down to the bottom and I'm gonna make this one stretch all the way across the top a uh, little simple border for two sides Now, what do I do for the rest? Now, that's a good question. You know what I was thinking about doing is I was thinking about doing um, a little bit of ground down here um, across the bottom. So maybe a little bit of a, a green grassy field. A little green grass growing up here. Maybe I'll put some flowers on there later on and things like that. But this isn't the main symbol. I'll make a couple of them here green grassy fields a little flowers and things like that might pop up here I'll come back with a little happy little flower it's so pretty mr. Skinner you're such a good flower drawer oh my goodness um, but, so, if radiation heats the ground, it's not necessarily just heating the ground. It also heats lakes and oceans. So, I'm making a little lake right here, a little water. Uh, maybe I'll make some, uh, a section of, like, brown ground right here, rock looking. Throw a couple of rocks here on this, whatever it happens to be. And then I'm going to put, to show conduction, so I've shown radiation now. Maybe I'm going to show conduction with little wavy warm rays. I don't like that color. Let's see. Maybe warm, a little warm heat waves coming off of the bottom here now I gotta be careful silly alarm I gotta be careful I don't take up too much space but I've got little warm heat waves to show oh yeah there's conduction happening down here so after the ground gets heated touching the air causes the air to get heated absolutely so that leaves me one side left well, if I'm talking about my three different uh, forms of atmospheric heating, the first one was radiation, the second one is conduction, the third one is convection. And with convection, cold air sinks. And warm air rises. So I think I'm going to make... A bunch of convection currents coming up my page showing warm air rising that last one a little big so I can go faster for y'all and cool air sinking for each one of them 
uh, little circles connected by arrows of convection. So, I mean, could I have just done those and around the entire, the whole thing? Absolutely. Could I have done a bunch of suns around the whole thing? Absolutely. Could I have done um, heat waves or could I put a, put a bunch of uh, thermometers around the whole thing? Absolutely. Any of those things could work. What can you do to creatively put a border? You can repeat the same pattern or you can make different sides for each. Be wary of your space because if you look at some of these, especially the last bullet here, takes up a little space. In fact, I've gotten to the point where I'm like, okay, I know how much space I'm using. So I'm going to be very careful and I'm actually going to, the last one says I need to make a real life connection. So I need to write a paragraph for this last one. So I'm going to reserve some space. I'm going to gently save a little space right here in the middle of the page for my personal response. And I'm going to say, okay, that's just out of bounds for the rest of my symbols and my requirements. Because there I'm going to have to write like a small paragraph depending upon the size of my handwriting. So I'm going to fit that in there. If you want to type a small paragraph and, and glue it on, that's fine. But remember, it has to fit on a piece of paper. No hang-offs. Hey, nothing sticking off of it needs to fit. Nothing on the back needs to fit on the piece of paper. Okay, next, I need to write the main idea somewhere on the page. The main idea is word for word what it says here in, so I've checked off this one. Boom, done that. Write the main idea. I literally need to write word for word this question as my main idea. So I'm going to pick a color that I think makes a lot of sense for that. Or maybe it doesn't. Okay, and I'm going to figure out, okay, where do I want to put the main idea? You know what? I think writing it across the top makes a lot of sense for me. I'm going to write it really neat because this is a poster. How do the three types of energy transfer heat how do the three types of heat transfer heat the atmosphere question mark that's not too bad if I'd redone it I might have shifted it maybe a half a centimeter over here if I'd plan better but I have to have that word for word and I wrote it as neat as I can you guys can probably write it even neater than me because I'm going kind of fast so that's number three I need to create three images now I will have some students who will print off simple little uh, uh, clip art or something like that that in some way connects to this concept but I need to create three images on my page that have to do with <coughs> uh, heat transfer in some way and if you go back to the notes you'll notice that it's filled with pictures to give you some ideas um, by all means use that so I'm actually thinking about making a nice little image right here on the side of my page okay. I do this neater with a ruler if I had the time, but since I want to make sure that you don't spend the entire time just listening to me, I'm going to create a nice little thermometer. <clears throat> little gradations on it. Obviously, it's a poster. It should be high-quality work. I'm doing this quick for an instructional video. Okay, what else could I do as far as ideas for my illustrations? Well, one of the things that I'm uh, that I was showing you guys um, was conduction. So I've got I can make a little. Um, <clears throat> Uh, put a little knobs on it. So maybe I'll have a little hot plate right here. 
with a nice little uh, warm coil. Ooh, maybe I could even uh, put little little flames coming up. A little fire. So maybe it's a gas hot plate. And then I will. Where's my gray? Something like that. I've got a nice little cooking pot here. A little steam coming up off of it. Nice little cooking pot. Hey, I need one more. I've already used the sun in my uh, in my corner, but I mean radiation does come from the sun, so I could an image I could use could be the sun very easily. Um, maybe I could do a campfire, um, something like that. Um, quite honestly. Um, if you were in class while we were doing uh, these posters, I usually like to cook popcorn for my students and I make one with an air popper to show convection. I use uh, a Jiffy Pop which goes on a stove to show conduction and then I put one in the microwave to show radiation so you can <laughs> show some popcorn being popped uh, with one of those methods. So some way to show heat transfer. Again, I'm trying to move fairly fast. So you need to have three. I've done two. Um, I'll come back uh, eventually when I finish mine. Next, I need to creatively and decoratively write three essential vocabulary words and phrases. These could be main ideas, impressions, thoughts. Well, the big three are obviously the three terms from uh, the notes, but then there's like three other vocabulary terms that we use. So, okay, what were those? Well, one of them was conduction so I need to creatively write them Ooh, so maybe I'll do a big old <sighs> bubble letters I gotta kind of plan this out and there's convection I guess I've rather than conduction is seems to be what I'm writing Make sure I spell it right. Be really terrible to put it on video and have Mr. Skinner do it wrong. That would be kind of silly. There's convection, I've written one. Um, I could do radiation and conduction uh, some creative ways. Maybe I write it with the little points, or maybe I write it all squared out, like it's written on a calculator. Some creative ways to write five of them. So I have to come up with five. So the big three I definitely want to include. Maybe I include temperature. Maybe I include... Uh, some of the other terms like heat. Heat might be a good one since it's nice and short. I know you guys always want to get done with things. Next, I need to go back into my notes. It says, and the next one is, oh, just crossing these off. So I need to make sure I do all three images. I need to do five vocabulary words, but I've done one, but I'm trying to go fast enough for y'all. So again, feel free to pause while you work before you go to the next step. Two significant explanations of how energy transfer works. This should come straight out of the notes. So you need to go back into uh, the notes specifically. Okay, so I'm showing you the video uh, right now of... Uh, or putting on video, I'm showing you the whole PowerPoint. So you can go into the PowerPoint or you can just open up your actual notes. It's nice of it to go nice and slow for me here. Hey, and I can find some explanations. So here's an explanation from conduction. Energy is transferred from the ground to the air when cool air molecules 
come in contact with the warm ground. So that second bullet is an explanation. The first one's a definition. Uh, the second one is energy is transferred from the ground to the air when cool air molecules come in contact with the warm ground. Okay, so stop that share. I'm going to find uh, a nice colored pencil. <clears throat> and I'm going to find a place to write this one. And since it's conduction, I might write it across the bottom here. <clears throat> might have to uh, flip back and forth to uh, to see it here. <clears throat> Energy is transferred from the ground to the air when the cool air molecules come into contact with the warm ground. Now, obviously, you should be um, writing neater than I am. I'm just trying to show you that I'm putting it all on here. So, obviously, I've still got a lot of empty space. But, again, I need to add one more image. I need to add four more vocabulary words. I now have to write one more of these significant explanations from my notes. And next is I need to write two Costas questions and their answers. And the Costas questions have to be level two or higher. And we usually stay at level two. Right? Okay, so maybe my Costas question is um, quite simply, um, and I'll write it up here. What is the difference between heat and temperature? Well, I saw heat and temperature in my notes. So a level two would be to compare those two or contrast them. So I've written my Costas questions. I'd also then have to write my answer to that question. It does say I have to write Costas questions and their answers. So I have to write two significant. That's two significant. And I have to write two level two Costas questions. And then lastly, remember I reserved this space. I have to write a personal response. So this is going to be a short paragraph. Like five sentences is going to be right around the minimum. Summarize the information on the one pager and make real life connections to the information. Basically, I want you to demonstrate your knowledge of the learning target. The learning target is what are the three forms of energy transfer and how do they combine to heat the atmosphere? And then I need to connect this information to my daily life or my past experiences. So I'm going to have to write all of that in here. And I need to finish all of these bullets that I was only doing one or two for. I need to do all of them. So that is your left side. You've got as much time as it takes to get it done. And it can be then glued into, I believe this is page 64 today. Good luck. I'll be in the Zoom if you need help.